Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back. It's Charlie. It is Sunday morning, September 20th, 2020. 2020? Really? 2020? 2020. 2020. Oh my god. I'm tired. It is 5.54 in the morning and I am at the bus stop and I have to be at work at 8 o'clock. And uh, Sunday morning. Everything is even slower. It's so slow, not even the the silly bus schedule thing here. Time's unavailable. Try again. Or bus over 45 minutes away. Thank you for being so vague. Oh my god. Well, no no uh no major earthquake afterwards but that still doesn't mean uh, that, you know 24 hours we're still susceptible so anything is still happening and again excuse me in 2020 anything can can like you know really happen so walking out of the house and 538 this morning doggone it at least I got I got some rest last night a car or some strange man and I think a female in the passenger was pulling up and, and I was walking up, uh, out, out of the house and they're looking at me and I'm looking at them and I'm like, oh, I think I just left the house just before it's about to get noisy because oh, this, this is so, so unpredictable. But anyway, I gotta go to work at eight. Uh, I shall get off around 12 or one o'clock, I believe. So, uh, I'm tired. And then, uh, I think I'm off Tuesday. So we'll see. All right, my friends, I'll talk to you later. All right, so I've had to actually walk up, uh, walk up to the other bus, because it's not coming. But as I'm coming up, um, this is Jackie Robinson, if you remember, and this is uh, the field. But anyway, I noticed that they just brought over, seems like maybe overnight, or the past day or so. No, because I didn't see these the other day. But they brought these uh, trailers. You see that? They bought these trailers over here now that uh, were not here. Holy cow. This is like close encounters the third time when they're moving all the trailers and everything. And the trucks. No, but uh, I wonder if this... Because this is the community center. That's the Jackie Robinson Senior Center. So I'm thinking maybe for the homeless? I don't know. Very strange. Find out more. Very interesting. You know you too, You are too early in life for the rest of the world when all the bus stops say time and schedules are unavailable. Can you hear him? Here they come. Where are you going? You're going the other way.
Uh oh, here they go. Oh Lord. Oh boy. I gotta tell you folks, it's uh it's kind of magical to live in a city where there's tropical birds just abundant in parrots. And then in Arcadia we have peacocks that <laughs> occasionally come over here. <laughs> There's a uh actually that it makes me forget a little bit of my troubles. I, you know what? I'll tell you what. Living, uh, living with these guys is yeah, kind of a love-hate thing. Where well, we lived on Raymond, a mountain, on our street, in the palm trees and in the trees. Uh, that's kind of like part, one of the areas where they would, they would sleep and roost o overnight and stuff like that and build their nests. Uh, right around maybe three, between about three or four in the morning, you can start to hear them squawk. And my wife and my daughter and I, well, I'd get, we'd get up around just about that time because she had to be at work, I believe, around six or seven in the morning. And uh, even if we didn't hear the the alarm, you could most assuredly hear these guys. And even from indoors, you, they are they are loud, and they're loud for at least a good two three hours until they decide, hey, let's just go take off, and then they just fly around and squawk all over town. But it's it's pretty cool. Uh, it's about the cheapest, no frills way of kind of get the feeling of being uh, at a at a zoo, maybe like an a an aviary aviary. So really, I can't even speak. Uh, type of situation, kind of like the one they had at the LA Zoo. I wonder if they still have that. But yeah. Anyway, I'm here at my second bus stop, waiting for the bus, hopefully to get here. Um, gonna most likely be late you know the more I s when I go to work and uh, I'm walking up the side of the building and I keep seeing that electric bike please don't poop on me um, that gigabike is pretty cool I I keep looking at it online it is expensive though it's about it starts at a thousand nine it's got a 35 mile range it uh, easily charges up uh, with a household plug. It's got its own uh, converter and stuff like that. That would be perfect. It's got uh, dual disc brakes, 35 mile range, uh, 17, 18 miles top speed, so, or 20, I think. Uh, either way, it's, it, it's definitely a lot better than walking or taking the bus and most certainly Uber. You know, I'm gonna have to probably, I wonder if I could check and see how much I've spent over the course of a year. I've never, honestly, uh, checked to see. I did one time when I was in high school, kind of calculated how much I spent on cigarettes. And it was like, uh, back then, I mean, it was like an obscene amount, it was like, about a hundred, hundred and something odd dollars, and that's when cigarettes were like two bucks a pack, I think. Dollar something a pack, I don't remember. But anyway, I'm pretty sure I spent quite a bit on on Uber, and that disgusts me. Uh, that I would rather have spent time, maintenance, and and care in a vehicle. But honestly, right now, with the way things are, having a vehicle is a little. No, it'd be great, yeah, but honestly, I'd rather have that e-bike. <clears throat> it's got a decent headlamp. Uh, I don't have to worry about registration. It's street legal, no license. Just wear a helmet, and that I already have. Uh, get a good strong lock.
I could I could use that anywhere and everywhere basically here in town unless I'm gonna go somewhere else and I'm not gonna go buy anything I could actually I could probably make that I could make it to uh, Eagle Rock and Glendale and back if I'm just gonna do a like a video and stuff like that heck yeah I could definitely go to Duarte uh, El Monte if I go to Walmart I could just if I'm gonna get something light I could just take my backpack and back because it's only five miles away so my whole life everything that i do within within my means of travel of necessities and everything was definitely within a five five to less than a 10 mile radius of what i need to get in life anything other outside of basically maybe a five six mile radius i'm just going out for entertainment <laughs> curiosity and stuff like that but, oh my god i'm so tired listen to me ramble but no, that Gigabike is really cool. I'll, I'll put the link down so you folks can can uh, check it out. I'd, I'd, if I had the money, and, and yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd recommend it. I was, you know, looking at e-bikes. And the one thing that I was really looking at when I was homeless and actually right around 2017 was uh, boosted boards. I really wanted an electric skateboard because that would have been a lot easier for me to carry around. And then some of these other mountain e-bike type of uh, vehicles were coming around and uh, I knew someone who had bought one it's about like $2,300 I remember he said he paid very 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 expensive so but they've they've come down quite a bit so still I need I would need that money for a place all right my friends I think my bus might be coming I'll check in later little squawkers it's after seven and I'm still waiting for the bus ah. nice sunrise though through those trees ah, come on bus
And it'll be right over here to the right. Where? Yes. Oh, all right, my friends. I ended up catching an Uber because, uh, well, I tried, I tried to catch one earlier, but it was $23. There's a picture right there. But uh, then I saw another lift car go by, and I figured, well, I tried to call one up, and I got one actually for $8. With the last $10, on my card uh <laughs> i'm slowly trying to figure out the the ride share system how it works so uh, i need to get coffee now all right my friends that's it i'm done with work oh goodness oh see this is this is the bike that i was talking about this is this is the e-bike see that's the Gigabyte Groove, that one right there. And it's got a little headlamp. It's not bad, it's pretty cool. I would, uh... Oh, wow. The, uh... The fire. Let me show you. Well, as we have... Beautiful skies now, just a bit shady because of the smoke in some areas. You look, and there's the source of the fire. Right on the other side of there, Mount Wilson, just on the other side. All right, gotta walk to the bus stop. Folks, that's it. I'm home. Time to go inside and see what's waiting. Uh, well, I hope you guys at least enjoyed um, the parrots. I had been wanting to show those little guys to you. And uh, they kind of are a little more heavier as we come into the fall. They like to stay close around this area. So maybe we'll get some more video later on. So... Until then, you folks take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, be kind to each other, help one another. Don't take today for granted or any other day yet. Live for the moment, pull down your pants and slide on that ice. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, what we're doing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me, about us, and what's going on. And uh, You got to see the Pasadena parents from the great fire i'll see if i can't find the link behind the parents so all right my friends uh any comments good or bad post please below uh links email comments if you don't want to post them and um yeah that's it i'm fried my my brain is fried Oof, i don't need alcohol i'm I'm running on delirium. I don't know which one's more dangerous though. For me, actually, the alcohol is, that's for sure. All right, my friends, I will talk to you tomorrow. I love you all. Stay safe, be smart, bye.